Let's discuss five high earning jobs that you can do from your own home with little skill and uh, hopefully you like them. Some of them might not be your cup of tea, but who knows? And I just wanna quickly add, I haven't done all of these jobs. I've done a few of them. I've either got experience in them by doing them, experience in them by employing someone or interviewing someone about them. So I don't want you to think that I've gone and done them all, but I wanna say that I have done extensive research into the ones that I haven't done. And I just think these are really, really great ideas. So before we get started, before I tell you the five ideas, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like any of these five ideas, then give this video a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And let's get cracking on with the five ideas. Now, we have four different categories for each job type. I'm gonna tell you what it is, how you can get into it, how much you can charge, and my experience with it. <laughs> Instagram content creator. This is a very, very simple job and there are so many people on Instagram who need people to create content for them. Like all of these different types of channels here, I can guarantee you that the people who own these channels are not creating their content and they need someone like you to go and create their content. So that is the first job and it's very, very simple. You can use Canva, you can use Photoshop. A lot of the time they give you, you know, an account on Canva or something to actually use to create these posts for them. How can you get into it? Well, there's a few different ways to get into it. You could got Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour, all these different kinds of websites where you can post a job saying, I will create Instagram posts for you. But another way to actually get into it is to go onto Instagram, find all these different theme pages or whatever they may be, and mass message people being like, hey, do you need someone to create your content for you? I'm very uh, affordable, blah, 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 and just do that across the board. And I can guarantee you're gonna get a few people saying, yes, please create my content for me. How much can you charge? Well, honestly, this is not one of those jobs where you can charge a lot of money, and I would say anything between six and seven dollars per hour, but it totally depends on where you're from. If you're from the UK or the US, you can probably charge a bit more, maybe ten or twelve dollars an hour, but again, not a people a lot of people won't want to pay that much. So it really does depend on where you are, and I know this is less than minimum wage. However, hear me out when I say this. You might only be charging six to ten dollars an hour to start out. But the whole idea of this is you build up your portfolio, you build up your reviews, you build up your trust, and eventually you can start doing more complex jobs, not necessarily just the creating and the post jobs. Maybe you can then turn into managing their entire Instagram account, getting them clients that you know want shout outs or whatever it is, and you can start building your way up to maybe 25, 30, 40 dollars an hour. But you've got to start somewhere. And it's not exactly a very long journey, right? You can start at six to ten dollars dollars an hour, have a whole bunch of clients and within a month start doing much more complex tasks with these clients and charging a lot more money for it. Now, personally, I haven't done this myself. However, hear me out. I have actually employed someone to do this for me. So I have someone at the moment working for me, creating my Instagram post because I thought to myself, time versus money, it was taking me so long to create these Instagram posts and I wasn't it wasn't worth it basically, right? And it was just, it was so time consuming. So I thought, you know what, I'll pay someone to do it. They'll make them for me. And that's also how I know how much, how much you know, money you can make from it because I know exactly how much I'm paying someone. And I also know how in demand it is because there are so many people who message me every single day being like, do you need me to create posts for you? Do you need me to do this for you? Do you need me to do that for you? So I do know there's a lot of demand, a lot of demand. <laughs> Article reselling, what is this? Well, this is very, very simple. This is where you pay person A to create an article for you, and then you go and sell to person B on other websites like Brazen, iWriter, Back to College, I've got a list over here. Um, the, basically, there are tons of websites where you can actually sell articles, and you can buy them on Upwork, Fiverr, you know, people per hour, and you buy them for a certain amount, you sell them for a bit more, and you make a bit of profit. So it's, it's, that's what it is, very simple. How can you get into it? It's very simple. You go to these websites, you see what articles need writing, you go and pay someone to do it, and then you sell those articles to the website. It's actually really, really straightforward to get into it. Well, how much can you charge getting into this? Well, typically, hmm, it's hard to say, but typically they do around $50 per article, depending on the website you're using. All those websites I just listed average around $50 per article. So in a way, you could do 10 articles a week, right? That's $500, articles, uh, $500 a week. 2,000 a month, 
I'm not going to say no to an extra two grand a month without even having to do much. You're just being the middleman. My experience with this, okay, I haven't done this either. However, I have spoken and interviewed people who have done this and they have told me that it is a great job and they're making between 500 and 1,000 every single week from it. So in my mind, I thought that was quite a good thing to mention. Uh, like I said, I know I haven't done it, but I still think it's a very viable side hustle. <laughs> Article writing. What is it? Well, this is very similar to the previous one, which was article reselling, except the difference is you are actually writing the articles. You know, you've got yourself a pen, you've got yourself some paper, or you're just using a computer, but you're basically writing the articles yourself. Now, there's two ways you can actually get into this. The first way is you can actually be the guy on Fiverr, on Upwork, writing articles for people, and I'll explain to you how much you can get from that. Or you can be the person writing the articles directly for these websites that are paying, let's say, $50 per article. So it's quite cool because you've got two entries of income here. Now, how much can you charge? Well, we spoke about the website already, about $50 per article, which is pretty good. On Fiverr, okay, if you're doing it on Fiverr, I would say you could start by charging maybe $10 per article. And I know, I know it's going to take you about an hour to make an article and $10 is not worth your time. But hear me out. This is just to build up your repertoire and your reviews and all of that kind of stuff. And eventually you can charge a lot more. In fact, you can charge over three, four, five hundred dollars per an article, which still takes you only an hour. And that leads me right into my experience with it. So my experience with it, I have done this a tiny bit, but more importantly than that, my brother Josh has done this big time and he has told me everything. In fact, I've even interviewed him on this YouTube channel about article writing and he has given away all the tips and the tricks and the secrets. But I asked him about his experience with it and he said that he started out, firstly, you've got to be pretty good at English. He's great at English. He's great at writing articles, okay? And it takes a lot of work. So he said he started out being very, very cheap, the cheapest, right? And that way he got a lot of jobs. It was very time consuming, but he, he did earn a good amount of money. It was just very time consuming. But as soon as he built up his reviews and he's now become a top seller on Fiverr, right, he's charged an absolute fortune. I think he said to me, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I think he said to me his highest paying article was $700. That is a lot of money. $700 for one article. That's insane. If you do one of those a day, that's like math that I can't work out during this video because it's going to make me look stupid, but it's a lot of money. Okay, so I definitely think that if you can write articles, it's Definitely a good idea to do that. Just to put a number in your head, if eventually down the line you're able to do one article for $500 a day, you're making $15,000 a month from writing articles. What? What is this? That is a serious side hustle right there. Logo creation. What is this? Well, this is really simple. This is just making people logos for their products, their t-shirts, their websites, their personal brands, whatever they may be, right? And, and I know I said all of these are free to get into, but I want to just quickly say a small caveat. If you want to pay for like something like Placeit, you've got a whole library of logos you can just use and resell. And that makes this whole, this whole side hustle a lot easier. But we're going to just assume you're not doing that. All right. Now, how can you get into logo creation? Like I said, you can sell it on Fiverr, 99 Designs, Upwork, people per hour. You can message people on Instagram saying, do you need this? Do you need that? Right. There's so many ways to branch out and actually get jobs in terms of creating the logos. If you're thinking, do I need some graphic design skills? Well, I mean, it helps. But like I said, if you have zero skills in your body or with graphic design or hopefully you have skills, but if you have no uh, design skills, if you don't have a design bone in your body, I think that's the sentence, um, then you can literally use place it. It's like what, seven or eight pounds a month or something. And you've got an entire array of logos. But like I said, I want to just give free methods. If you want, you can use um, a, a program like Photoshop. It's called GIMP, which is free. And you can create logos like that. And you can just, it's so easy. Oh, it's so easy. Okay. And you can list them on all these websites. And again, you'll start small, but you'll eventually be able to charge a lot more per logo. I have a friend now who's charging $60 for logo creation. And I just think it's brilliant. So how much can you charge? I know I touched on this just before, but I would say start small, maybe $10 per logo, work your way up to $30 per logo, then to $60 per logo. And eventually if you're on Fiverr doing this, you can get to the Fiverr Pro uh, level and then you 
you could charge three, four hundred dollars for a simple logo. And think of it like this. I know you're thinking, mm, that's really expensive for a logo. No one's going to pay that. But it completely depends on the company's budget. I actually did this one a while ago, a while ago, um, before I was into Amazon FBA and all these kind of things, I created logos for people and YouTube intros for people on Fiverr. So basically people paid me and I would create a quick logo for them or I would create a uh, like a five second fancy YouTube intro, which I would have preset on After Effects. So it took me about 30 seconds to make and I got 15, 20 dollars for it. So I have actually done this and I know there's a lot of demand for it. And I know I actually pay people to do this as well for me, even though I can create logos and I'm very graphically inclined. I still think time versus money, it takes me a long time to come up with a good logo design. I can just pay someone else to do it for me. It's much easier. So I definitely know there's a lot of opportunity here. Product reviews on YouTube or a blog. Basically affiliate marketing. Well, what is this? This is as simple as grabbing your phone and reviewing a product. So let me review this bike tool. Okay, it's super cool bike tool, blah, blah, blah. Right, and all you're doing is reviewing this. You're putting it up on YouTube or you're putting it in your blog. Okay, and you're leaving links in the description to go and actually buy it. Now, if you don't want your face to be on YouTube for whatever reason, you could just do B-roll. You could just, you know, shoot it in different angles and do a voiceover talking about it. If you don't even want your voice to be on YouTube, then you could create the script, create the B-roll, pay someone on Fiverr to do a voiceover for you. But that's quite extreme and I don't see why your voice can't be on YouTube. But like I said, if you can have your face reviewing, then it's a huge, huge market. How can you get into it? Well, there's so many different ways to actually get into it. You need basically a phone to take the videos of something. And the best thing about this is you can just pick the top trending product. So the new iPhone that's coming out, the iPhone, I don't even know what number we're on anymore, but the new iPhone coming out, you can buy one or borrow one from a friend or something, review it, and you're guaranteed to get quite a few thousand views just because of the amount of people searching for iPhone reviews and iPhone this and iPhone that around September time. So you, the brilliant part of it is you could literally build a huge YouTube channel just by doing this because you're hitting on trendy products. Now, as well as that, you could also use websites like Impact, ClickBank, Amazon Rakuten, and these are all affiliate promotions for you know other things like Photoshop, you can be an affiliate to Photoshop, you can be an affiliate to place it, to Canva, to all these different things. You can be an affiliate and you can make videos and, and reviews and whatever you need to do and post them on YouTube. And all you have to do is put the link in the description and people will go and buy. And the best part about it is you create a video and it's like everlasting. You can get a view in three years time and people can actually buy from your affiliate promotion three years down the line. <sighs> Guys. This is a big one. How much can you charge? Well, it's really up to you because you decide which affiliate promotion you want to do. So for example, if you're trying to just take videos of products and you're doing Amazon Associates, right? You're probably gonna get a very small amount of money there. Basically, you could choose an affiliate. If you wanna get a bit more money, you can find an affiliate promotion that offers 50% commissions on a $1,000 course or a $1,000 program. You're getting yourself $500. So it's up to you which products you decide to, you know, review or whatever you want to do. But like I said, I would always suggest going for the top trending products. What is my experience with this? Well, I again have personally done this myself. In fact, I do this to this date. You'll find links in this description that will be affiliate links. I have made around 75 to $100,000 doing this and it's all been from YouTube. Okay, just putting links in descriptions and it's a really, really, really good business. All I'll say is you have got to stick to it. That's my advice. It took me four and a bit years to start seeing anything from YouTube. So you've really got to stick with it. This is brilliant for anyone young who doesn't like need money straight away, who's got time on their hands and can, can create this to be something big. If you don't have that much, um, if you've got like a job and you need and you like you don't have time, whatever, I would say just do this as a side hustle. Do one video a week or something just to get into it. Everyone has time for a you know ten minute video once a week on the top trendy trending product trending. That is not a word. The trendiest trending product, um, you know that week. So everyone can do this, and I think over time just stick with it and it will pay off. It's really really good. Now, I hope you like those. Five ideas, let's just quickly recap. We got Instagram content creator, we had article reselling, we had article writing, we had logo creation, and we had product reviews 
on YouTube. These five ideas are genuinely brilliant ideas and in fact I've decided I want to do a part two of this because I actually have another five ideas but I did not want this video to go on for 40 minutes. So I do have another five ideas I'm going to tell them to you, don't worry. But let me know in the comments what you think of these five ideas, if you can do any of them, if you already do any of them. And yeah, I'm really interested to find out. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.